Good afternoon and welcome to All Hallows Episcopal Church for this service of Noonday Prayer. It is Wednesday, August 24th. We are in the Book of Common Prayer on page 103. Our psalm for today will be Psalm 91, which begins on seven, page 719. If you don't have a copy of the Book of Common Prayer, that's fine. Just as you hear us pray, pray along with us. And I'm thrilled to have Karen Wilson with us. Thank you, Chris. Happy to be here. Oh God, make speed to save us. Oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Psalm 91. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High abides under the shadow of the Almighty. He shall say to the Lord, you are my refuge and my stronghold, my God in whom I put my trust. He shall deliver you from the snare of the hunter and from the deadly pestilence. He shall cover you with his pinions and you shall find refuge under his wings. His faithfulness shall be a shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of any terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day. Of the plague that stalks in the darkness, nor of the sickness that lays waste at midday. A thousand shall fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Your eyes have only to behold to see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your refuge and the Most High your habitation. There shall no evil happen to you, neither shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you in their hands lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the adder. You shall trample the young lion and the serpent under your feet. Because he is bound to me in love, therefore will I deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I am with him in trouble. I will rescue him and bring him to honor. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Amen. Today, Holy Women, Holy Men remembers St. Bartholomew. We know almost nothing about Bartholomew. Um, we do know that uh, he is one of the 12 apostles. Um, he's listed among the apostles in the Gospels according to Matthew, Mark, and Luke. His, son, his name means son of Ptolemy, and he is sometimes identified with Nathaniel, the friend of Philip, the Israelite without guile. In John's gospel, to whom Jesus promised the vision of angels ascending and descending on the Son of Man, but we have nothing else about him in any of the four gospels. Some, of course, as things happen, traditions develop over time, and there's some, some peripheral um, stories about him. Um, there is some evidence that maybe he wrote a gospel of his own um, because we find it in mentioned in writings of Jerome and the Venerable Bede, but it is lost and nobody, nobody has a copy. Um, there is a tradition that he went to, to India um, and Eusebius reports that when Pantaneus of Alexandria visited in India in 150, 150 
he found the gospel of court according to Matthew in Hebrew. And the story was that it was left behind by Bartholomew, one of the apostles. Um, it, the, the tradition also exists that Bartholomew was flayed alive in Armenia. Other than that, we know nothing about Bartholomew. The scripture appointed today is from Luke. Luke 22, 24 to 30. A dispute also arose among them as to which of them was to be regarded as the greatest. But he said to them, the kings of the Gentiles lorded over them, and those in authority over them are called benefactors. But not so with you. Rather, the greatest among you must become like the youngest and the leader like one who serves. For who is greater, the one who is at the table or the one who serves? Is it not the one at the table? But I am among you as one who serves. You are those who have stood by me in my trials and I confer on you, just as my father has conferred on me a kingdom so that you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom and you will sit on thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In this moment of meditation, I invite you to sit comfortably and breathe easy and let the stress out of your neck. It's the middle of the week and there's a lot going on and, and there's a lot yet to come. This, the story of Bartholomew always intrigues me because when people are named within scripture, there is extraordinary things usually that come along with them. Um, sometimes it's moments of faith. Sometimes it is they have been named as Gentiles petitioning Jesus for healing. Um, but there is an importance around their name and, and being named. But that's all we get uh, with Bartholomew. And this makes me think about all those who have lived lives of devotion to God, who have spread the good news of Jesus Christ to those they encounter, but those that did it humbly, without seeking anything else except for the end goal of sharing what they knew of their relationship with Jesus. And the number of people that have existed in history, most, most of them, we don't know who they are. But we know that something extraordinary happened right after Jesus' death, burial, resurrection, and ascension because the church grew. People shared. The, the faith of these people was infectious and spread like wildfire in the ancient Near East and then all over the world. And most of the people responsible for that are unknown to us, just as we will likely be unknown to most people a hundred years from now. But the faith that we share, the impact that we have on the lives of those we encounter, will continue on. And that's important for us to remember. So in this moment of meditation, I invite us to consider all those ways in which we have lived faithful lives and shared our faith shared the good news of Jesus Christ with those in our personal orbit, and then to celebrate that that is enough. That is what we are called to do. So I invite us into that place now.
Amen. We continue with the Kyrie. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, who gave to your apostle Bartholomew grace truly to believe and to preach your word, grant that your church may love what he believed and preach what he taught. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We, of course, pray our prayers for peace in our world. For the human family, O oh God, you made us in your own image and redeemed us through Jesus, your son. Look with compassion on the whole human family. Take away the arrogance and hatred which infect our hearts. Break down the walls that separate us. Unite us in bonds of love and work through our struggle and confusion to accomplish your purposes on earth, that in your good time, all nations and races may serve you in harmony around your heavenly throne. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. And we pray for peace. Eternal God, in whose perfect kingdom no sword is drawn but the sword of righteousness, no strength known but the strength of love. So mightily spread abroad your spirit that all peoples may be gathered under the banner of the Prince of Peace, as children of one Father, to whom be dominion and glory now and forever. Amen. And for peace among the nations, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, guide the nations of the world into the way of justice and truth and establish among them that peace which is the fruit of righteousness, that they may become the kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray for our enemies. O oh God, the Father of all, whose Son commanded us to love our enemies, lead them and us from prejudice to truth. Deliver them and us from hatred, cruelty, and revenge, and in your good time, enable us all to stand reconciled before you through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. In this moment of prayer and intercession, I invite yours, either aloud in the silence of your hearts or in the comment section. We begin by praying for those on the All Hallows Parish prayer list. For Martha, Larry, Russ, Amaya, Imogen, William, Jennifer, for Mike, Bill, David, Linda, Christine, Judy, for Charlotte, Paul, Bill, Ian, Donald, for Karen, Helen, Gulzar, Nargis, Anselin, Brishna, for Bob, Andre M, Andre K, Volodymyr, Mikola, Yevheni, Vasil, Anna, Cindy, for Jackson, Brent, Ben, the Furia family, for Bill, and for Al. We pray for the hungry, the homeless, the unemployed, the destitute, the angry, the anxious, the isolated, and the overcrowded. We pray for those struggling with their mental health. We pray for teachers and students entering a new school year, for their safety, for their flourishing.
Today we also, I know we prayed for peace. And the genesis of that came from the beginning of the war in Ukraine. Today is the six month anniversary. We need to continue to pray for an ending of war and we lift up to God all the hearts and souls of those who have died and we pray for world leaders that they may turn from violence and from the seeking of power we pray for the church for the universal church our Diocese of Pennsylvania, our deanery, and this beautiful parish, All Hallows, that we may continue to be beacons of light in this world and draw people to the love of Jesus Christ, to that radical message. Lord, as we are aware of our need, make us Awake to your grace. We remember all who have died, that they may have a place in your eternal kingdom, O oh God, and especially we lift up all the saints of all hallows whose shoulders we stand on today. We pray for our community, for Cheltenham Township, and for its leaders, that you would guide them in wise decisions. And we give thanks. We give thanks for the blessings of this life, for birthdays, anniversaries. We give thanks for Karen and her service and her friendship. We give thanks for the blessings that we see and the blessings that we don't. Give thanks for the people of All Hallows and their incredible commitment to serving. All these prayers we lift up to you, O God, in the sure and certain hope that you hear and will act as is best for us. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining us today. It is a privilege to pray with you. Thank you to Karen for joining and helping to lead. We will be back again tomorrow for Noonday Prayer. If you're interested in joining me and helping to lead Noonday Prayer, just let me know in the office. Um, our service on Sunday is at 10 o'clock. Uh, if you feel like a midweek Eucharist is a thing for you, come this afternoon at 1230 here in the church. Thanks again, Karen. We hope you have a wonderful day. Be at peace. Stay safe.